Someone asked me once upon a time, some many years ago, why do we feel fear on the seat of meditation? Maybe this question has come to your mind, this feeling has come to your mind. But too shy to address it. There is only one reason why fear comes on the seat of meditation. And that is identification. As long as we are identified with something in this world, which includes this body and senses, or we are identified with something inside, which is your mind, intellect, etc., breath. Till then, the fear will be there. Fear is the feeling of loss of something. So this has to be addressed in a proper manner. What is it that we are identified with? Who is identified with it? Is this identification possible? Is it valid? Wherever there is love, there is fear also. What we call as love, <laughs> love for my child, love for my husband or wife, love for my children, love for my parents, immediately on the flip side of the coin comes fear. Fear of loss of my parents, fear of loss of my husband or wife, fear of loss of my children. So you become protective. Who becomes protective? The mind becomes protective. Because mind is a product of identification. Understand this. Mind is born because of identification. You remove the identifications, only you remain. So, mind is trying every way in its book, every trick up its sleeve, in order to maintain that identification. And what it does is, it invokes fear, so that Whatever practice you are doing, whatever surrender you are doing, you stop. 
so that that identification continues because mind knows that only it will listen to all the satsangs it will do the practices but somewhere just as it is going to be free it will bring in the sabotage of identification fear sorry which is due to identification so this is one point <clears throat> you have to accept yourself the mind has to convince itself mind is not of the nature of thoughts mind is of the nature of consciousness the material that has gone into making the mind is consciousness mind consciousness with thoughts is mind mind without thoughts is consciousness this the mind has to become convinced of and what is mind thinking i am the body i am the breath i am the mind if i am not thinking i am losing my mind if i am not breathing i am dead if i am not if my darling is not there if my children are not there not there if my parents are not there what will happen to my life it will be uh, not worth living fear 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 so we have to shift our attention to the awareness that we are awareness expresses as at two levels in the outside world and in the inside world outside world the awareness of the world of the objects of time space and objectivity is called drashta bhav you are the observer without getting influenced by what you are observing drashta bhav hmm you are merely watching seeing watching 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 not getting involved only watching there is a text by shankaracharya adi shankaracharya called druk drushya vivek how do we enquire into the seer seen in english it will be seer seen inquiry so when it comes to the world of space time objectivity all the objects we practice drashta bhav we practice being the observer this observer has got nothing to do with the mind it has got nothing to do with the world it has got nothing to do with this body breath mind intellect organism it is independent it is existing by itself in itself it is not existing because of the body it is not existing because of the senses it is not existing because of the relationships husband wife children no nope. this observer is self existing be it claim it and in the inside world the same drashta is called as sakshi the witness so keep practicing this slowly 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 as we remain immune to the stimuli is in the outside world by being the observer we remain immune to the inner stimuli triggers entanglements attachments in the inner world 
slowly the silence dawns and in that silence it becomes crystal clear that this observer that i am this witness that i am is independent of all comings and goings is independent of all changes everything in this creation has a journey it's born it stays it goes away but i am the observer of everything that is being that is coming into existence that is staying and something and is going away so how can i be that keep observing keep observing keep observing be aware be aware be aware these things you may have heard many times but on the seat of meditation when we are sincerely deeply available as the observer or the sakshi somewhere along the way we are comfortable with the silence that ensues we are comfortable with not associating with some thought it's okay we have worked towards it let the mind do what it want what is it, what it is doing and if you remain as the observer the mind will very quickly undo itself our job is to remain an observer in the outside world drashta bhav and remain as the witness in the inner world as the sakshi bhav in the watchfulness in the wakefulness in the awareness in the in the observingness or witnessingness the entire gamut of thoughts in our mind slowly surely or instantaneously no expectation let it happen it undoes itself it undoes itself but you remain be that be the eternal observer be the eternal witness don't get influenced by anything don't be ensnared by anything don't be attached to any thought idea emotion don't be fixated in any th- idea thought emotion conviction be watchful somewhere when a certain amount of silence happens 
the observer instead of looking outwards goes back to himself is just a language makes a u turn the attention or the watchfulness rather than about the stimuli now the watchfulness is about who is this watching and the story is over So be aware of the outside world or any thoughts if your eyes are open as the observer and if the eyes are closed be the witness understand this witness and the observer are one and the same because you are the same person be there 